Hi, my name is Janet. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I wanted to share with you my favorite green smoothie recipe. And um, before I do, I did want to share about my pre-diabetes condition. Um, I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes when I had my daughter um, 10 years ago. And uh, a few years later, um, well, I had lost weight in between that period of time as low as 103 pounds. But uh, after that, I gained weight up to 166 pounds, and I was a size 12. I was definitely not happy. Uh, recently, I went to the doctor and I was uh, diagnosed with prediabetes. My hemoglobin A1C was 6.0. Um, anything from 5.7 to 6.4 is considered pre-diabetes and anything after 6.4 is diabetes. I didn't want to get to that point. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't really do anything. And I just kept on um, being lethargic and uh, wasn't active. Uh, so I just kept on this weight. Um, obesity is one of the causes of being a, di a diabetic, so um, after I started having all these problems like blurry vision, um, foot problems, uh, leg problems, pins and needles, uh, I had corns on my foot that wasn't healing as quickly. Uh, those are little symptoms that uh, are from diabetes, so um, I had to. I knew I had to do something about it. So I went on this. Uh, intermittent fasting diet. Uh, I wasn't happy. Uh, I did the 16-8, which was fasting for six hours and only eating in the eight hour window. And um, I did it for two weeks. I did lose five pounds, so I don't regret it. But um, I just didn't want to be kept on that stringent schedule because uh, I found myself every night really craving for um, foods and I was hungry all the time. I was tired. Um, and my, even though my blood sugar levels did go down, uh, there were days that it did go up too. So I just decided I'm just going to eat right and be a little bit more active and uh, it, it worked. Uh, interestingly enough, I lost three to four pounds in addition to the five pounds. So right now, as of the course of a month and a half or two, um, I lost about 10 pounds. Um, yeah, and because of that, I was able to not only it, the being a little bit more active and eating right had helped my weight level uh, go down but also my sugar levels as well so um, yeah I did want to share with you a recipe um, it's a green smoothie recipe and smoothies usually have a bad rap for uh, being high in sugar um, I will say that if you're not able to control your sugars, I would not uh, recommend this, but if you are able to, it's okay to um, be able to have it once in a while as a nice treat, and um, as long as you check your, your blood sugar lo level after you have something sweet. Um, the key is, is that uh, smoothies tend to be expensive when you go out and they're high in sugar, but I chose the food groups that are low in sugar um, and less starchy vegetables. Um, some to just name a few, blueberries, strawberries, um, blackberries. Uh, I use a lot of lemon and lime. I always have that on my grocery list. And uh, spinach, avocados, and green bananas. So if you're ever going to the grocery store, always look out for green bananas. Um, my trick is is to uh, actually take it when it's green and freeze it. I put it on a baking tray and stick it in the freezer and then I would pack it into like a freezer bag or a uh, freezer safe container. Um, so with that said, I'm going to start this recipe for you. It's a uh, half a banana. I'm just going to have a frozen banana that is. I'm just going to chop that up. Unsweetened almond milk. 
milk, one cup of baby spinach, and um, half an avocado. So it's a five ingredient recipe. Uh, it is optional to put in stevia um, or a stevia blend, but it's not really necessary. If you would like, um, I measured out here a quarter teaspoon of stevia. but bear with me. That's it. <sighs> Blenders aren't that expensive. I was able to find one on sale for about $28. Um, and my little trick is I always like to, uh, what helped me be successful in this whole entire diet was uh, I used to count calories when I was on the intermittent fasting diet and uh, I stopped. Um, the trick is just to eat uh, everything in, within moderation and um, just be careful about uh, the carbs and the sugars and just limit it um, as much as you can. Uh, you are able to have it. I mean, it's important to have some carbs, especially if you're exercising, but I'm not that active. Um, so I, I'll talk about that later, but um, my little trick is I just put a little piece of tape on the glass. I measure it, and I know that this tape tells me it's six ounces. Uh, generally, uh, if for, for uh, anyone who's trying to watch their weight or um, are diabetic, uh, they, it's recommended generally four to six ounces of juice or a smoothie. Um, so yeah, anyways, so I'm going to pour it. It's a little bit thick. What I would probably do if you're, I like it thick, but if you, you don't like it thick, um, you could, you could, um, water it down and thin it out. So this is almost perfectly six ounces. I, I love using spatulas because you get to save it. And if not, if you're making more than six ounces, you can always just put it away in a container and eat it later in the day. Okay, or the next day. And that's six ounces. It was perfect. Um, so I hope you enjoy this recipe. I wanna, um, say that just watch what you eat um, and just especially the sugar and carb intakes uh, just limit those and and eat healthy three balanced meals a day um, one of the hardest things about intermittent fasting was um, have starting to eat my breakfast later in the day I ended up finding myself eating either brunch or lunch and um, Breakfast is supposed to be the most important part of your meal. So, um, yeah, I would just uh, try to be active. That's what helped me. I'm not active, but what uh, I was trying to be as active, sometimes uh, just having a smart watch, keeping in track of your steps. Um, what helped me a lot was my hobby was uh, is gardening and uh, just doing housework and just cooking and walking up and down the stairs and decluttering the house and those are things that help me lose the weight. Well, um, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thanks. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, support me. Thank you so much.